Um, last question: What's what's your biggest challenge right now as the CEO of Gauntlet? Uh, you know, is it recruiting? Uh, is it is it bandwidth? Uh, is it the next bear market? Like, what, what what's your challenges? I, yeah, I think it's just like scaling. Uh, you know, kind of like growing to taking on as many customers as possible and building out some new sets of products. Um, you know, in the long run, I really think that hopefully, you know, by establishing a lot of the standards um, for for how to measure for measuring risk, that you know we can over time start really helping ensure these protocols in a way that's more, uh, you know, closer to what people do and in, in, are used to in terms of uh, that type of protection. So really scaling and making sure that we can get to that goal of, hey, are we like, you know, do we have enough research tools and risk tools to, to get to the point where, uh, you know, DeFi, you know, we're, we're able to cover a bunch of different types of risks in, you know, tens to hundreds of protocols. Uh, and then also, you know, provide, figure out how to provide the right capital buffers. Um, do, do you have to turn business down? All the time. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I figured. Uh, so <laughs> because like, I, like you said, I mean, you know, you go do some work for sushi swap and it's like, we're, you know, saving you $200 million. It's like, it, you can, it's real world applications and it's in real tokens and real value and real user behavior. And now there's all these new layer one solutions. Like you said, all these new protocols and not all of them know they need your help, but I'm guessing a lot of them call you. Yeah, 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 for sure. I, I, and, and you know, the cool thing about crypto, you know, is that, you know, when I was, uh, you know, graduating college, like the cool thing was always to, to go into AI stuff and, uh, you know, everyone at the time was like, oh, like there are these AI companies, they'll like do tons of awesome research, um, but like they'll productize it and find a way to be a viable business. And, you know, if we look back 10 years, right, DeepMind, OpenAI, places like that did not figure out how to monetize. They had to basically get added to like one of these big companies. But, you know, my dream is that we find, you know, we're, 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 we're one of those, but with a business model because it's crypto. <laughs> Yeah, well, you're, it's already it's already quantifiable, isn't it? And that's what makes this like fascinating. Um, well, look, it's a really interesting industry. Any other final thoughts or anything we didn't cover, or for people that are tuning in that might be a new to a lot of these concepts? Uh, any thoughts for them? Uh, yeah, I think uh, the the be the best thing to do is actually to follow a lot of the developer podcasts because I think they cut cuts through a lot of the noise. Um, and so I, I think like podcasts like the Zero Knowledge podcast highly recommend. Uh, especially if you want to understand the privacy side of things. Because I think, you know, I think in my mind, you know, right now the current thing is like DAOs, of course, because of DAOs buying real world assets has been like a, a big thing. Uh, but I, I, I do think we'll get back to privacy. You know, I think privacy in the next year or two will be the, the meme du jour.